side yard. We got this heat pump here. It's not heating. It sounds terrible. Uh, I guess there's a guy here that uh, injected dye and charged up like four pounds or something like that. The discharge line, it's in heat mode right now. It's a little warm. That's a good sign. We're gonna check our charge and see what's going on. So here we go. So she shut off on me. This is our off pressure, so she's definitely low. I believe it's 410A. Uh, let's see, it is, um, yeah, 410A. So uh, that should definitely be higher. It's 53 degrees out here. So our saturation temperature should be right around that, which is 15 degrees. So yeah, there's there's definitely a low charge. So, and the compressor sounds terrible, but uh, what I noticed is I was about to take this off and I don't know if you can tell this, but there's like oil all right here. So we might have a leak in the outdoor coil, which will be very unfortunate, but it looks like that could be our issue. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and see what's going on. Yeah, check that out. All right here and then down here too. I don't know if you can see that in the coil. The whole bottom is just like got stuff in it. So we're going to pop this top, kill the power, and see if we can find some. Okay, we got the lid off. Uh, there is stuff everywhere, as you can see. So now we just got to pinpoint it. I don't hear any hissing. But yeah, the leak's got to be out here somewhere. Um, there's like a big spot right here near this header. Yeah, there's grease all over everything. I'm wondering if maybe one of these guys rubbed on something. Oh, there's definitely stuff rubbing. But yeah, this is all covered in just, yeah. Of course, I don't see any dye. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. Not even a little bit of dye, so that's a bummer. We're gonna have to pressurize this thing, so yeah, that's a total bummer. All right, well, we're gonna take a look and see if we can find a hole. We'll just do it the old fashioned way with some uh, soapy bubbles. Let's go grab that. Check out this door, this is so awesome. Anyway, we're gonna check the indoor coil, make sure that there's no dye in there. Then we'll continue outside. I don't feel any oil or anything in here. All right, let's open this up. Okay, we got some dye right there. I don't know if that's showing up. I think it is. So yeah, there's, I don't know if it's on the actual U-bends. It looks like it's just pulled, but there's definitely dye on this thing. So a leak is here somewhere. I just gotta pinpoint it. I really hope it's not in the coil. We need to check the warranty on this thing. So we're pulling a recovery. I can't pinpoint it. I got I gotta put nitrogen in that thing. Uh, but so far we're about seven ounces, and we're almost empty at 19 psi. So I think it's gonna be right under a pound. So we'll see. So we just got right under, not even a pound like 11 ounces so yeah this thing holds like 13 pounds of 410a so this is a total bummer uh so yeah we're gonna put nitrogen in here so we can find this leak i really hope it's not in the coil because unfortunately i only had a five-year warranty it was never registered so oh man i don't know if you can hear that but i hear a hiss we're at 250 well almost 250 I hear the sound somewhat here, so we're gonna see if we can locate it. It's looking like it's gonna be in here, so that means I'm gonna have to cut this out. Because unfortunately, the unit's not under warranty, so I can't change the whole coil. Even if it was under warranty, it's gonna take several weeks. Oh, I found our leak, and it's here, right there. So, what happens is this metal stuff kinda does this number. Uh, you know, plus bending it a little bit, kind of bent this and made the leak bigger, but that's our leak. Uh, so Goodman's telling me that, uh, well, first I called and they're like, oh, it's warranty only. And then I'm like, well, you guys should have made the coil better. And then they're like, okay, well, they're back ordered. So 
I'm going to have to try to fix this because they're back ordered and they don't know when they're going to make new ones. Probably have something to do with that stupid CRT stuff. So yeah. So anyway, we'll see if we can get this fixed. We'll let the nitrogen out. Right, one more time. Make sure this. Alright, uh, you pro this probably won't show up on cam, but the leak is right there. So what we're going to do is we, we've removed all the nitrogen. I'm going to kind of clean this up so I can flow some solder over it. And then we will pressurize it. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to actually be running a small amount of nitrogen. And we will be flowing nitrogen. Because that's something that I do all the time. And so we'll get this all prepped and then brazed and hopefully sh there's no other leaks. Not bad, I wasn't able, I wasn't, I didn't have to chop up this coil too badly, so that's good. So, anyway, yeah, it's ridiculous, Goodman. Okay, so we got her brazed up. Uh, so hopefully she don't leak no more. So we're going to let her cool down, then we'll pressure it up, see what happens. Alrighty, so we're pressuring it up. I ended up finding another leak on this back one here, but it seems like we got it all. So we're going to pressure up to about 250 PSI, uh, and then we'll let it hold and see what happens. So fingers crossed, because we can't get a new coil. Go to lunch, and then come back, and then hopefully she holds. Alrighty, so it's been almost an hour, and we're still good. So I would say we fixed the leaks. I'm going to go ahead and start our vacuum, get this all put back together, then charge it up. Alrighty. So we're at 370 PSI. We're going to go ahead and charge up our 13 pounds of refrigerant. So here we go. We're at 10 pounds, 5 ounces. Uh, we need to get to like 13 or 205 ounces total. All right, she's back up and running. I got her running in cooling mode right now. Uh, it's cold outside and it's cold inside, so my pressures are a little weird. But it's factory charge. It should be fine lines. That's not super long. Uh, I'm getting about 5 degrees of subcool which I'm, my target's eight. Well, it dropped down. Superheat's five, which is pretty cool for this. I'm not too worried. I think it's fine. Um, we'll have to check it again. We'll probably have to come back on a follow-up on a warmer day just to make sure, but I, I'm pretty sure it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and run it in heat mode just to make sure uh, that it's heating because that's what we care about right now. So, yeah. All right, well, she's running in heat mode everything seems to be fine so we're gonna call her good anyway hopefully this helps you out so thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe comment tell me what a horrible technician i am hit that bell notification and follow me on instagram and facebook thanks for watching